Hallelujah. Here we go in five, four, three, So, uh, as what you can see in my background right now, we are not in the classroom. Panibagong ambience tayo ngayon. Oh. Dahil nagdito tayo ngayon sa radio station. Wow! And, uh, oh, kagaya din ng, ano natin, ng klase natin sa, sa classroom. This is radio-based instruction. So, meron na tayong uh, radio ngayon uh, dito sa Lupon. Wow! Ayan naman, we are going to have uh, some fun in a while. Tingnan natin kung magpa-fun dahil ako na mag-isa. Wala akong kasama. Kakayanan natin ito. So, hindi ka nga sabi nila, uh, laban lang. Tama! But, uh, medyo pinagpapawisan na nga ako. Hindi <laughs> pa nga tayo nakakapag-ubisa. Tingnan lang natin mamaya-maya ng konti kung ano yung uh, mangyayari. Oo, oh, oh, dito sa ating uh, uh, radio-based instruction. Dahil blended na nga yun, da, dahil sa new normal natin ngayon, so meron na tayong radio-based. So, wow. Huwag muna tayo sa ating classroom ngayon. Magpapaka-wholesome tayo ngayon. Tangga, tatanggalin ko muna yung... Uh, ano? Uh, I mean, lalagyan ko ng double yung pagka-wholesome ko ngayon. So, wala na yung wholesome ko na walang double. Medyo mabait tayo ngayon. Formalan, uh, formalan tayo. Dahil nga, yung uh, kikater natin yung mga chikiting. At saka, they will be guided with their parents. Makikinig sila sa atin. Tapos, maglileson tayo on air dito po sa sa radio station. Ito yun, isi-set up na natin yung ano natin, yung mga effects natin. So, gamit ko dyan is virtual DJ para sa mga effects. So, actually, meron din naman akong oats dyan. Pero yung oats natin, hindi ko basta-basta magagamit mamaya. Dahil ang gagamitin ko ay, ayan, yan yan yung oats natin. O, bagong version yun ng oats. Pero hindi ko yun magagamit mamaya. Ito yung magagamit ko. Yan, yan yung virtual uh, DJ na yan. So, they got the mixer. So, simple-simple yung mixer. And yung microphone na gagamitin mamaya. And also, yun yung uh, main computer. So, yan yung gagamitin natin mamaya. So, we are all set and we're good to go. Na-download ko na yung mga kakailanganin ko mamaya. na-download ko na dyan o na-transfer ko na dito sa kanilang computer. And so, yun. Good luck na lang mamaya. Alright. This is it. Uh, of what we have uh, discussed in our previous lesson. 
So, uh, last uh, Monday, nakasama din na si, uh, I guess, si Teacher Ayon sa pa si Teacher Luis, di ba? So, uh, since this is my first time to be with you, uh, kids, uh, mga parents natin dyan, grade 3 science, uh, yung uh, lesson natin ngayon sa mga grade 3 natin dyan. Handang-handa na ba kayo? Oh, nakabrush na ba kayo ng titi dyan? Ha? Huh? Para mga kabidis na ito, dahil mga kajigitin na naman, dahil mga kabidis, at hindi basta-basta masisira yung ating nipin. So, it is really a need for us to brush our teeth. Ay, pala, saan na ba yan? Ang mga grade 3 na ngayon, diba? Grade 3 uh, learners natin. So, uh, last meeting, uh, we talked about the uses of self. Sound can be used as signals. Sometimes it can be used as uh, entertainment, like you know, listening music, kagaya ngayon. Sound uh, also, kids, is also used in giving communication. We learned that sound is so useful to human activities. Alright, so that's what uh, we have discussed. So congratulations, by the way, for recalling our previous lesson. Lakas naman, makilang kung sa taglalapo ka na sa inyo nga mga chikiting ganda pa at lagi natin niya uh, marirandang po yung mga lesson natin, di ba? Oo, oh, oh, dahil dyan, uh, good na good kayo kay teacher ko po niya. And so now, let us have a short activity to see if you have uh, learned something from our previous lesson, right? Alright, I'm going to give you a test. Ito lang naman ito na, na quiz. This is, this is a, uh, you know, a short quiz mga yeah. chikiting. So, uh, are you all ready? So, here we go in 
And let's proceed to uh, question number three. It is a thing which produces sound and moving pictures that we usually use at home for entertainment. So again, it is a thing which produces sound and moving pictures that we usually use at home for entertainment. What is it? Is it A, television? Is it B, radio? Or letter C, glass? So A, television, B, radio, C, glass. So, five seconds once again. It is produced when things vibrate. Again, it is produced when the things vibrate. Is it A light? B heat? C cell? So once again, the choices are A light? B heat? Or is it better C cell? So five seconds, so once again. So look around you. 
for a while, and you can see that there are lots of these things that you slide. Okay, let's just get on another two. On the count of three, you stay up. One, two, and three. Ang bilis naman na teacher ko. Wala pa ang three yun. Yeah, three na yun. Three, three na yun. So, are you all standing right now, kids? Okay, very good from the place where you are standing right now. Start moving around your house. So, bilo-bilo kayo dyan, nasa inyo ba? Explore your bedroom, your living room also. Then look for things that you love. So, have you done it? So, maghanap ka dyan ang mga bagay. Ay na na. May magamit na ang ilaw. Alright. So, have you done it? Oh, congratulations. Very good. Because if you see a lamp, then you are correct. It is uh, because it uses light. What about uh, making a bonfire? You might go up on a bonfire. Do you have to put it in Yes or no? Of course, yes! It also uses light. Firewood in cooking rice. Of course, it uses light. So what do you have done, and children? It's so very great. Congratulations, I'm, uh, you know, very, very uh, so happy and so proud of you. Ano ko isang matibig na palapak at yung pangitin? Okay, so I guess you have uh, enjoyed uh, doing our activity. So children, that means you are ready to embrace another new lesson today. Aren't you? Wow, but before that, see to it that you are back in place. So go back to your chair and sit properly in front of your Sunday. Ready? As what I've said earlier, our lesson for today is about uses of life. So what's again our lesson for today? It's about uses of light. So I assume you have with you your activity sheets in Mongjun 1. Is it about? Good. So please don't forget to write down notes and listen very carefully. So that if you can follow the discussion of the you know, radio teacher. So let me go radio teacher. So uh, that will be me. Ako na naman. But anyways, okay lang yan. Ready na? Ready na? Ready na? Ready na? Okay, so uh, let's move on with our new lesson. That is why we 
can see small or large objects because of light, right? So light helps plants to make food and grow using the light of the sun. And uh, of course, without light, without sunlight, there will be no food to be manufactured and eaten. Right, kids? So the presence of light enables plants to produce food for us to survive. So light is also used in many electronic appliances. So what about our roads and our bridges? They are passable at night because of the presence of light, such as sodium or solar lights. So colorful lights are used to decorate or beautify places. Yes, you've heard it right, children. There are colorful lights that help beautify and enhance the ambience of our places or our, you know, surroundings. It is used also in presentation as pointer. Wow! What about flashlights? Of course, these are lights used by travelers or navigators at night. But if there is a light, there is a flashlight. It's because of light. So we really have to be thankful for the healers lights not the kids. So that's it, children, the uses of light. Ganon, ganon ka tindi yung light. Ang ganon ka importante yung ilaw talaga sa atin. You just don't notice it. But if you try to observe around you, light indeed has a lot. When you have children, you heard the lesson about the uses of light. Come on, children, it's time to have an activity. Open your module on page 8. Page 8 na tayo ngayon. See? See there? What's more? Okay, kids, it's a uh, puzzle uh, activity. Oh, yung 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 kaya chill na rin ka muna tayo sa ating uh, lesson ngayon. It's 
all about the uses of my. Yeah. Well, the natin kanina, di ba? About the uses of light. And light is very important in our daily life. So light is uh, needed for us to live. Go over your notes again and let us see what you have learned so far. But it's time to wrap up uh, so you can also clear whatever doubts you may have regarding uh, the uh, topic today. Okay, kindly uh, get uh, your answer sheets. Okay, write your name. Grade level and section. Write also the date today. It's April uh, 14, 2020. your lesson well so that you will be guided on what activity you will have to do next time. Right? So are you ready? Set aside your notes now and listen very carefully. I will give you five questions. Okay, open your module on page 9. Page 9 na tayo ngayon. The instruction is write if the statement is true and F if the statement is false. So write your answer on a separate sheet of paper. So ready? Here we go in five, four, three,
fire can be used as light during camping. Again, a fire can be used as light during camping. The kids, is it true or is it false? Go! So children, if uh, there are parts of the lesson that uh, you know, you know, it's not clear to you, please feel free to write down your questions on a piece of paper and drop it in the designated drop box in your place. If you can school, you can drop it drop box in the drop box in the school. And then you can drop it in the peers. I will make sure your queries will be answered. So kids, remember that light has many uses. Light can be used in decorating our houses and also our surroundings, right? So light can be used in cooking. It can also be used in the lighting a dark room. Don't be afraid of a dark room, dark room, man. Don't worry. You just have to switch on the light and voila! And also, hindi lang uh, gamit natin uh, like in the room, but also the foods we eat, and yung mga vegetables na yan, dahil yan din sa light. It's because... Para sa mga 
So, meron din tayo actually para sa ating mga high school at sa mga senior high. So, uh, we have a whole team that will be coming by next week, I guess. Hindi na po uh, mag-isa si uh, Teacher Coco. Buti naman hindi na po uh, mag-isa. Dahil sobrang napakahira mo talaga mag-isa. Aba, kung ikaw naman dyan, nasanay ka na mag-isa. Well, good for you. Para sa mga hindi naman nasanay dyan na mag-isa, pagkaya ko. Well, Alika, partner na tayo. Wow! Wow! Conference up. <laughs> anyway, so uh, thank you so much once again. Uh, ito po yung uh, ating uh, radio-based instruction. Uh, dito po syempre sa 104.7 Uh, Radio Vivo and also 107.7 uh, Radio Bandera. So mga kids, mga ano natin dyan, mga, mga parents, maraming maraming uh, thank you po for, you know, uh, bearing with us. And uh, looking forward to, you know, seeing and hearing you tomorrow. Once again, same time, same station pa rin po. At dito, sa Lupon tayo. Okay? So, uh, amid changes we all need, or we all stand together, we learn as one. Sulong idumalidad uh, para sa bata, para sa bayan. So, thank you so much everyone. Bye-bye. Until tomorrow, this has been Teacher Coco. Education continues in today's generation. In the way of learning, no one will be left behind. So come on, help on learning in school radio. radio. And so we're done with our lesson, mga palangga. So that was it. Medyo... Uh, ano nga nga pa ako dahil first time ko nga dito uh, mag-convert ngayon sa, sa Lubon. Oh, nagkamurinsing yung tanong ang ginako. But anyways, by the next time around, mahirap talaga mag-isa. So, mas mainam nang may kasama talaga. Kasi, lalo lang kanina sa mga effects. Ako, tapos andun pa sa, sa mahirap. O, oh, mag-isa. Buti nang uh, at least malang may kasama akong isa. Sana bukos meron akong kasama. Para, para perfect na yung ano natin bukas. Sa nagkakala ka rin Uh, isa sa computer dito, tapos dito naman, tapos multitasking yung uh, ginawa natin kanina. But anyways, it was a uh, success deal. Uh, pwede na yun. So, so, di ba perfect na natin na palangga. So, thank you so much at your next vlog.